Right, students, so now that we finished uh, UV unwrapping, I'll show you how to take a snapshot of it. So then we can take it to Photoshop and start doing the albedo and normal map. So to do this, we can do whichever model you've selected. So for instance, uh, I've done this. Uh, I can go to UV, UV editor, uh, and then with the UVs we can just have it selected so uh, we want to go on face just double check everything's okay then select everything select everything in the UVs make sure everything's in UV space 1 so I have everything selected and then over here there should be a camera button it's called the UV snapshot if you press that uh, so it's going to ask you for the file name, so find out where you want to call it. I've already done this, so just again, uh, I'll put it on sod one uh, Save it. Sure. And then we want to, you can either have it as a PNG or a targa. These are like the best ways. So it's um, for compression. The PNG and targa doesn't compress it as much, so it looks nice in Photoshop. As well as remember the two times table, everything has to be uh, in a multiplication of two. So at least we want to start off at two k. So this is two k. If you want to have it at four k, you have to times two thousand and forty eight by two. So yeah, so we'll leave it at two k. So you can press apply and close, uh, and then just save it. So that's fine. And then if we go into Photoshop. We can just add it by going on, so if I'll just take this off and go to File, Open, and then find my sword, so sword 1. So here's the sword. So what we can do now is, we know this is metal, this is metal, and these are the handles, etc. Uh, we can start uh, finding materials. You could either do a flat colours and then texture over it. Or uh, what we can do is if we just go to Google and just look for some textures. Um, so for instance, ideally, not ideally, but essentially what you need to do is look for textures without any lighting. So it has to be flat. Um, as you can see in this picture, this part here, there's light and we don't want that. We want to have as dark, essentially as dark as you possibly can. So this is perfectly fine. Uh... Is this the one I picked? I'll just pick this one. This is okay as well. Uh, then paste that on. Uh, so I only want it here, right? So what we can do is just like um, there is a way in UVing where you can just mouse click over it uh, and just select the UVs like that. However, this is just a little habit that I gained when I was in uni so for instance let me just I'll just speed through this and then we have the layer on top of it and if you press ctrl x that'll cut what was on the top layer so then we can delete that layer paste it like so and just realign it back. So now that's our metal done. Uh, and then for the handles, you know, we can just carry on going. Uh, let's just say I want the rod part to be gold. Uh, like so. Uh, I might just use this part here. So once again, we just paste the layer on. Oh, perfect. And I'm just going to have one here. Actually, since they're both the same, I only need to do it once. So I'm going to minimize that layer. Go back to layer 0. I'll just... Oh, that was ineffective. Hold on. Bang on that layer. Control X, then we can delete that layer and paste it back on, like so. And we just have to put that on here once again. 
uh, and then let's finish off the rod and stuff. So, for instance, I'll do maybe a leather texture. Perfect. So hide that, go back here, and I just want the handle. Uh, I just want the handle to be Oops. just uh, let me do that again I messed it up uh, there we go oops control X paste it on so as you can see it's overlapping so what we can just do is we can just replace the layer to the one below it so it's below it and then that won't cause any more issues and then we can just duplicate it over so now uh, you can see we're slowly starting to build on the sod and finally this part here I can just have it as some um, iron I guess uh, that's pretty good and then back here so as you can see I'm being quite messy but about the how the way UVs work is whatever you've actually UV'd so even if I've gone over it that's what's going to be pasted Where is the layer gone? So I'm just going to actually pull that, minimize it. Let's redo that because I messed it up. And then we just press uh, here, control X, delete, slap that on there, put that on there. Oh, it's a bit bigger here, so that's fine. Uh, and then we got the hilt part itself. Oh, did I forget to duplicate it? There we go, that's fine. Uh, and then here, for instance, obviously you can find whatever material you want. I'm just going to color it in, uh, just to save some time. Uh, add a new layer. I guess I'll have that grayish. Uh, and then maybe add some scratches onto it. B. I think I have A. Uh, I've got loads of brushes. I could just apply one. There we go. There we go. So let's just say that's finished. So then what we can do is just go to save as, uh, save your shield, uh, save your UV template. Uh, so as a PSD, just in case you ever need to go back. And then once again, uh, save as, and then let's just save it this time as a PNG. So sword one like so uh, and then what we can do is we can go back into uh, Maya and then if go back to object mode on the object like so uh, and then go to right click assign new material uh, la so blin is shiny and uh, meta like metallic and lambda is flat so for this instance I'm just gonna pick lambda I'll go to color Go to file, image name, uh, desktop, uh, where is it, sword and shield, UVs, PNG, open, and then we can just apply the texture. So text this button here. 
texted. So now you can see I have my. Oh, I also did this shield earlier as well. So as now you can see that I have a sword texture. Right now, obviously, it looks flat. It's just that simply because um, we don't have any other maps onto it. It's currently just the albedo map. So yeah. That's our first step to making uh, for untexturing.